Business information system is defined as a group of interrelated components that work collectively to carry out input, processing, output, storage, and control actions in order to convert data into information products that can be used to support forecasting, planning, control, coordination, decision-making, and operational activities in an organization. In terms of the components that undertake this activity, they can be classified into five basic resources of people, hardware, software, network, and data. People resources include the users and developers of an information system and those who help maintain and operate the system. Hardware resources include physical equipment used for input, output, and processing. Software resources are the programs used to control and coordinate the hardware components. Software is classified into system software, application software, and procedures. Network resources connect the hardware together and enable communication among computers and people. Network may be intranet, extranet, and the internet. Data resources cover the data that an organization has access to, such as computer databases and paper files. The reasons why computerized business information systems have become widespread are evident in their advantages such as speed, accuracy, and dependability. They also have a high degree of flexibility due to their ability to be programmed to carry out a wide variety of tasks. There are, however, some disadvantages to business information systems, such as their lack of creativity that humans possess and the difficulty of incorporating other factors into their decision-making, such as innovation and intuition. Back then, information systems are divided into different categories. Some categories are those systems that support an organization's day-to-day -day business activities like transaction processing systems and systems that support managerial decision-making like management information systems. As the use of technology grew in businesses, so too is the problem of information islands. Information islands happen when separate, independent information systems are developed. For example, sales and marketing created information systems to serve their needs. The operations functional area built an information system that provided data when and where it was needed. Human relations had its own system, as did finance. These legacy systems are not connected to one another, thus could not share data across the enterprise. This problem over the years becomes a big hindrance to the success of organizations. At present, this division of business information systems into operational and management systems does not accurately reflect the reality of systems used within an organization. Some businesses nowadays use enterprise-wide systems that cut across both operational and management systems to provide businesses with more integrated information systems. In doing so, an enterprise system allows companies to integrate business processes by sharing information across business functions and employee hierarchies. These systems can replace multiple independent systems that may or may not interact with other systems and that process data to support particular business functions or processes. Some of the enterprise-wide systems are Customer Relationships Management or CRM, Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP, and Supply Chain Management, or SEM. At this point, let's talk about enterprise-wide systems. It is defined as a large-scale application software packages that support business processes, information flows, reporting, and data analytics in complex organizations. Enterprise systems handle many operations within a company to facilitate its business and management reporting tasks. They are built for speed, scale, and designed to deploy across a variety of networks like the internet, an intranet, and corporate networks. These systems are designed to manage large volumes of critical data. These systems are typically designed to provide high levels of transaction performance and data security. For example, it can capture data from the time a sales representative makes an initial customer contact to the end of the product cycle when payment has been received. Newer systems even go beyond that point, 
and keep in contact with customers long after the initial sale has been finalized. Simply put, enterprise-wide systems are information systems that allow companies to integrate information across operations on a company-wide basis. Customer relationship management, enterprise resource planning, and supply chain management systems are examples of enterprise-wide systems. You're probably asking why organizations would pursue this endeavor. Let's talk about its advantages. In addition to the benefits of business information systems, businesses implement enterprise systems to gain company-wide access to business knowledge, which means the data can be shared by all functional areas of an organization up and down the value chain whenever and wherever necessary. These systems improve response to the marketplace. Enterprise systems allow businesses to increase their product offerings, thus increasing sales and profits more efficiently and effectively. Enterprise systems may also enable a business to reduce the cost of information technology and for maintaining separate information systems. These systems also minimize the manual input of data and duplication of company data. Enterprise systems increase employee productivity. These systems support teamwork and greater employee collaboration that may increase work quality and efficiency. One of the biggest drawbacks to enterprise systems seems to be in the implementation. Generally, the installation takes an extremely long time and can inflict tremendous problems on organizations that are not adequately prepared. The first enterprise-wide systems that we will talk about is CRM. It stands for Customer Relationship Management. Customer Relationship Management systems are developed to address the need to raise a sales department's productivity and provide an effective way to increase sales. With CRM functions such as Sales Opportunity Management, a company learns more about its customers' needs and buying behavior and combines these information with market information to enhance the quality of the company's marketing plans and sales forecasts. In CRM, the collections of data happen at each step of a pre-sale process, including sales and marketing, call centers, help desks, and customer support service. Therefore, it automates and integrates the sales, marketing, and customer service functions to capture and store customer and prospect contact information account data, and sales opportunities in one central location. Some popular examples of CRM providers are the following. Salesforce, which is an American cloud-based software company that also provides a complementary suite of enterprise applications focused on customer service, marketing automation, analytics, and application development. HubSpot, which is an American developer and marketer of software products for inbound marketing, sales, and customer service. And Zoho Corporation, which is an Indian multinational company that specializes in software development, cloud computing, and web-based business tools. The CRM systems have the ability to include integration with other systems and accessibility via mobile devices allowing employees to update and compare data and to access information from any location. CRM supports mass email communications and automates the sales process workflow to improve employee productivity. There are two types of CRM. First is operational CRM. These systems are focused on the automation of the customer-facing parts of a business, like targeted communications and offers to customers. Second is analytical CRM. These systems are focused on analyzing customer data to enhance customer and company value. These CRM include data such as sales history, credit scores, marketing loyalties, and campaign responses. Enterprise resource planning or ERP systems are designed to facilitate companies' cross-functional processes. These software allow companies to eliminate inconsistencies and duplications of efforts during operations, share data, standard practices across enterprises, and access information in a real-time environment. Examples of ERP systems are as follows. Oracle ERP, 
which is a cloud-based software solution used to automate back office processes and day-to-day -day business activities. And SAP Business by Design, which is a cloud-based software that is sold and operated as software as a service by SAP Company. It is designed for small and medium-sized enterprises. The Enterprise Resource Planning Systems integrate software applications such as purchasing, finance, human resources, operations, marketing, and inventory management. Within an ERP system, the integrated software modules communicate and share data. Each of these modules consists of multiple applications that execute end-to-end -end business processes. For example, the purchasing module includes the applications necessary to create and manage contracts, orders, invoices, and payments to the suppliers. These modules may also gather data from other modules to avoid data redundancy. For example, the accounting module will require employees' data from the HR and timesheets data of the employees from the operations to prepare its payroll. Then, details on the payroll will be needed in the finance. Finally, supply chain management or SEM systems. To know supply chain management, let's first describe the term supply chain. Supply chain is the collection of people, tasks, equipment, and data and other resources required to produce and move products from a vendor to a customer. Thus, supply chain management refers to the management of supply chain activities in an effective and efficient way to provide a company with a strategic advantage. The main goal for supply chain management systems is to coordinate the timely flow of information from and to an organization. Some providers of SEM are the following. SAP, which stands for Systems, Applications, and Products in Data Processing, which is a German multinational software corporation that develops enterprise software to manage business operations and customer relations. And Oracle Corporation, which is an American multinational computer technology. The company sells database software and technology, cloud engineered systems, and enterprise software products, particularly its own brands of database management systems. An SEM system manages and coordinates all activities involved in product development, material sourcing, production or converting raw materials to finished products, warehousing, marketing and sales, and delivering finished products and after-sales service. Information flows allow supply chain partners to coordinate their strategic and operational plans as well as the day-to-day -day flow of goods and materials through the supply chain. As a summary, the primary goal of CRM is to enhance the relationship with customers. For ERP, it is to improve and streamline internal business processes. SEM, on the other hand, aims to facilitate the collaboration between the organizations, its suppliers, the manufacturers, the distributors, and the partners.